Stop, don't skip parents, because something ominous lurks in the shadows, targeting someone close to your heart. Picture this. An evil eye watches and waits, its gaze fixated on your own flesh and blood, your daughter. I come bearing a pressing message concerning her, as Monday swiftly approaches. What is on the brink of unfolding will bring profound transformation to your lives. The countdown has commenced for her, and it is imperative that you do not delay in opening this message. A crucial piece of the puzzle is poised to fall into place, shaping a narrative that you cannot afford to overlook. Prepare for heightened intensity and urgency as the stakes rise, with potentially significant ramifications. Have you observed any troubling looks or signs of distress from your daughter, reminiscent of malevolent gazes, or the presence of sinister forces? Have you ever sensed faint ripples beneath the surface of her reality, hinting at a complexity beyond mere appearances? Before proceeding, reaffirm your faith in God by responding with yes. Keep in mind that while our lives are shaped by what we receive, the true essence of existence lies in what we give. A humble contribution of $40 has the potential to sustain a child with nourishment for several days. Are you prepared? Brace yourself, for what I am about to unveil is a narrative of utmost significance, transcending the ordinary. Within the chapters of your daughter's life, there exists an unseen storyline, evolving with every glance and gesture, hinting at a tale yet to be fully comprehended. Join me in this journey of parental insight as we explore the subtle intricacies that hold immense potential. Prepare to reshape the narrative of your daughter's journey, uncovering hidden secrets and unspoken obstacles. Remain vigilant over your daughter, for mysteries abound in her realm. Stay attentive, for the story is on the verge of unfolding. Before we immerse ourselves further, let us reaffirm our readiness. In the depths of contemplation, open yourself to the sacred whispers of the divine as the Father shares a message with your awaiting soul. My cherished child, he begins, I come to you with words of encouragement and hope. Know that my work in your life is far from finished. Though you may feel overwhelmed by mistakes or distant from my grace, remember that you are never beyond my reach and I have not abandoned you. Even in the midst of your failures, weaknesses, and trials, my grace, mercy, and love shine through. I see beyond your current circumstances, and I want you to understand that your story is still unfolding. While a chapter may have closed due to divorce, struggle, or setback, it does not signify the end of your journey. I have a greater purpose for you, and I am actively guiding you at this very moment. Your failures do not define you. They are opportunities for my grace to illuminate. Take heart, for I will not burden you beyond what you can bear. Failure only occurs when one refuses to rise again. You do not need to dwell in shame or carry the weight of guilt indefinitely. Stand up, my child, for everyone experiences stumbling, falling, and adversity. Even when it feels like time is running out, Remember that with me, there is always another opportunity, another chance for a fresh start. Take courage, for I am the one guiding the path of your life, shaping it like a potter molds clay. Do not be disheartened by perceived limitations, for I have equipped you with all that is necessary to fulfill your purpose. Find solace in the knowledge that I, as the potter, am fashioning your future regardless of any marks left by others. I stand ready to remove them, ensuring that none of your potential goes untapped. Pay heed, my beloved, for I am the one who recognizes your true potential. Do not allow the words of others to define you. I already see what you can become long before it becomes apparent to anyone else. Seize the opportunity before you. Assert your authority over the narrative, deflecting attempts by others to manipulate it. As the originator and perfecter of your faith, I guide your path. Place your trust in my unwavering presence and let hope blossom in your heart. Engage in dialogue with me, initiating change by reaching out. Seek solace and guidance in your Bible, 
allowing the Holy Spirit to refine your character. Your story continues to unfold, so shift your focus from turmoil to me, the catalyst for transformation. Remember, my work within you is ongoing, leading to moments of revelation. Stay the course, allowing the potter's hands to shape your narrative despite the enemy's efforts to alter it. I am the true author, crafting a tale of triumph, redemption, and boundless love. Now, let us proceed with the message the Father wishes to impart. Following prayer and divine guidance will safeguard you from unforeseen circumstances. Welcome, beloved souls, to this realm of love and compassion. Today, with hearts full of gratitude, we gather to receive enlightening messages. Guided by divine grace, God affirms that only steadfast followers will remain until the message's culmination. Today, God has a vital message straight from his heart's depths for you. My dear child, concerning your daughter, your own flesh and blood. So, listen closely. Your daughter's behavior is showing signs of disturbance, as if malevolent forces are scrutinizing her. This unprecedented situation carries immense significance, as God reveals the shadows of evil creeping toward your path. However, fear not, for I am ever-present, shielding you with divine protection. You are not alone in facing these trials, as my light guides you through the darkness, defending you against malevolent influences. Place your trust in me as your sanctuary in times of distress, leaning on my strength and allowing my love to fill you with courage and tranquility. Together, we will overcome every obstacle obstructing your journey. Despite the darkness attempting to cast its gaze upon you, my light will lead you through the darkest nights. Maintain steadfast faith, for I am your foundation and refuge. Shoulder to shoulder, we will conquer each trial and adversity. Rely on me as your sanctuary amid life's tumultuous moments, drawing upon my strength and allowing my love to empower you with courage and peace. Together, we will prevail over every obstacle hindering your progress. Prepare yourself, for whether you believe it or not, your daughter's destiny holds greatness. Within her lies extraordinary potential, akin to a God-given superpower, setting her apart. Embrace this significant responsibility entrusted to you by divine intervention, fully anticipating the remarkable journey ahead. Stand by her with unwavering support and boundless love, believing in her like no one else can. Understand the crucial role you play in aiding God's plan for her dreams. Embrace this divine opportunity and anticipate the extraordinary journey that awaits you both. Ultimately, Prepare yourself for something truly extraordinary, transcending the limitations of this earthly realm. Your daughter's journey is poised to leave an indelible mark on your life, a testament to her unique purpose and the immense love and support surrounding her. Today, allow me to fill your heart with positive affirmations echoing within your soul. Her passion will ignite the world and her unwavering inner strength will navigate her through any obstacles. The horizon is adorned with boundless opportunities for her. Let me unfold a heartening tale of her journey towards greatness. In a humble village nestled within the hills of Galilee, there lived a righteous man named Joseph and his daughter, Miriam. Joseph was renowned for his unwavering faith in the Lord and his compassionate nature which touched the lives of all who crossed his path. Miriam, his beloved daughter, mirrored her father's virtues. From a tender age, she exhibited a profound love for God and a compassionate spirit that endeared her to everyone she encountered. Her gentle demeanor and radiant smile brought warmth even to the darkest corners of their community. One day, while fetching water from the village well, Miriam encountered a group of travelers passing through. Among them was a weary stranger, visibly wounded and in need of assistance. Despite the warnings of others to avoid strangers, Miriam's heart overflowed with compassion. Without hesitation, she offered the stranger water to quench his thirst and tended to his wounds with care and kindness. 
As days passed, news spread of a notorious bandit terrorizing the surrounding countryside. Fear gripped the villagers as tales of his cruelty reached their ears. Many lived in constant dread, afraid to leave their homes. However, Joseph and Miriam remained steadfast in their faith, trusting in the Lord's protection. They continued to show kindness to others, believing that love and faith could conquer all obstacles. One evening, as the sun dipped behind the hills, the bandit descended upon the village with his marauders. Villagers trembled with fear as their homes were ransacked and possessions stolen. Amidst the chaos, Joseph and Miriam emerged from their humble dwelling, their faces illuminated by the light of their faith. With outstretched hands and voices raised in prayer, they confronted the bandit and his men, offering not resistance but love and forgiveness. Touched by their selflessness and courage, the bandit's heart was transformed. Overcome with remorse for the pain he had caused, he surrendered himself to the Lord, seeking forgiveness and redemption. From that day forth, the village was no longer plagued by fear and darkness. Instead, it became a beacon of hope and light, guided by the unwavering faith and kindness of Joseph and Miriam. Their story stands as a testament to the power of faith and compassion in overcoming adversity and fostering positive change. It reminds us that even in the darkest of times, God's love shines brightly through those who remain steadfast in their beliefs and extend kindness to others. This biblical tale imparts the profound truth that faith in the Lord can overcome all obstacles. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Embrace these truths and seize the moment as your destiny beckons. Now is the time to heed its call. Before delving into these critical matters, my dear one, it's essential to acknowledge a serious misstep marked by the disapproval of the Lord. Take heed of this warning and divine guidance before navigating the intersections and decisions that shape your journey. At life's crossroads, I wish to envelop you in the warmth of my love and assurance. Life's journey is a complex tapestry woven with moments of triumph, joy, and challenges that test the strength of your faith. Your father has another tale to share, and in those pivotal moments when decisions weigh heavily upon you, know that you are not alone. I am here, walking alongside you, gently guiding your path. Remember, God always watches over his children, even in the face of adversity, and his love and grace prevail over any evil forces that may stand against us. In a remote Amazonian village nestled deep within the lush greenery of the rainforest, a woman named Anna gently cradled her newborn baby in her arms. As the golden rays of the sun filtered through the dense canopy above, Anna felt a deep connection with the natural world around her and a profound responsibility to protect her precious child from the unseen forces that lurked in the shadows. With tender care, Anna laid her baby in a handmade hammock woven from the fibers of the surrounding trees. She then reached for a bundle of vibrant red strings, intricately woven together by the skilled hands of the village elders. With practice precision, Anna tied one string around her baby's tiny wrist and another around its middle, forming a protective barrier against the malevolent influence of the evil eye. As Anna completed the ritual, she felt a sense of peace wash over her, knowing that her baby was now safeguarded against the unseen dangers that threatened to harm it. With a sigh of relief, she stepped back and surveyed her handiwork, feeling a deep sense of gratitude for the ancient traditions passed down through generations of her people. For centuries, the people of the Amazon had relied on the power of rituals and talismans to ward off evil spirits and protect their loved ones. From the humblest of dwellings to the grandest of ceremonies, these age-old customs were woven into the fabric of daily life, serving as a tangible expression of their faith and reverence for the natural world. As Anna watched her baby peacefully sway in the hammock, cradled within the protective embrace of the red strings, she offered a silent prayer of thanks to the spirits of the forest and the ancestors who had guided her through the sacred rituals of motherhood. 
In that moment, surrounded by the timeless beauty of the Amazonian landscape, Anna knew that her baby was safe and loved, shielded from harm by the bonds of tradition and the power of her unwavering devotion. Embrace the divine empowerment coursing through you, casting aside all deception and embracing the path of challenge. Rise above fleeting doubts and declare mastery over your thoughts. Stand resolute in faith, for the light of the divine illuminates your every step. In times of uncertainty, find comfort in my active presence in your journey. Your surrendered heart shapes our relationship, making your choices a testament to our bond. I am your constant companion, offering guidance and support at every turn. Step boldly, for I have given you strength and resilience. Together, our collaboration tells a story of courage and growth. Reflect on your past and witness how confusion transformed into triumph. Your journey, marked by choices and challenges, is a path of grace, redemption, and boundless love. Embrace the unknown confidently, for your adventure brings me delight. With every step you take, your faith is a melody, and I am orchestrating a symphony of purpose that echoes our shared story. Walk on with confidence, knowing I am with you every step of the way, beloved child. The obstacle to your destination isn't external, but the narratives within you. You are the architect of your destiny. Dismantle the illusions and excuses. Do not let despair take root in your mind. My name is inscribed on your heart, and my love is yours completely. I will never abandon you. Trust in my promise and walk with me in peace and confidence, knowing that our covenant is eternal and unbreakable. My promises are more solid and potent than anything in this world. Your love, dedication, an unwavering belief bring me joy. Your simple faith, grateful soul, obedient spirit, and courageous demeanor are enough. The enemy may speak loudly and profess love for me, but without genuine faith, their efforts are futile. I have chosen to work miracles through you, using your words and actions. Let nothing deter you. Do not fear any obstacle. In my love and strength, you will overcome challenges and conquer adversity. In moments of loneliness and sorrow, turn to me. Do not let malicious individuals witness your downfall. Place your trust solely in me, for I know your noble heart. Your life will be filled with peace, wisdom, prosperity, health, and divine joy as blessings rain down upon you from above. Envision a journey through a mystical garden each flower representing a divine blessing waiting to blossom in your life. Nurturing these blessings, when done diligently, has the power to transform you profoundly. Today, let us walk hand in hand through this garden, unlocking the seven blessings that God has graciously bestowed upon us. I will guide you in a powerful prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. So stay tuned and open your hearts to receive these blessings. Like a diligent gardener tending to their garden with love, patience, and perseverance, we must nurture these blessings. The Bible, our guide, offers the wisdom and direction needed to activate them. As we explore God's blessings, remember that each one is like a precious seed requiring care. Though nurturing these blessings may require time and effort, the rewards are abundant and fulfilling. Have you ever felt the tranquility of early morning when the world is hushed and the day brims with potential? This moment, so serene and pregnant with promise, resembles commencing our day with prayer. Just as the dawn's light begins to blanket the sky, dispelling darkness, initiating our day with God illuminates our path, guiding us through whatever lies ahead. Prioritizing prayer as the first action of our day isn't just about the words we utter. It's about forging a connection with our Creator. It's about offering our time, thoughts, and hearts to Him before anything else. Today, we delve into the significance of making prayer the inaugural act of our day, exploring how this simple yet profound practice can influence the course of our day, impact our mood, and shape our interactions with others. When we start our day with prayer, we declare to God, You are the most important part of my day. 
This act of prioritizing God sets the tone for everything that follows, affirming our faith and trust in Him. It's a practice that not only strengthens our faith, but also enriches our daily lives, infusing them with peace, joy, and purpose. Commencing each morning with conversation with God is more than just a ritual. It's a lifeline, anchoring our souls in the certainty of His love and promises. It establishes a precedent for the rest of the day, offering a perspective aligned with God's will and brimming with hope. Morning prayer isn't merely a routine. It's an act of faith, believing that God hears us, cares for us, and is actively involved in our lives. It's an expression of our dependence on Him, acknowledging that we need His wisdom and strength to navigate the day. Moreover, starting our day with God empowers us to embody the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities become more evident in our lives when we spend time with God each morning, enriching our relationships and allowing us to become vessels of His love. Morning prayer equips us with wisdom for the day's decisions, guiding us in both major choices and everyday matters. It sets a rhythm of communion with God that can continue throughout the day, transforming ordinary moments into opportunities to experience His presence and work in our lives. The practice of starting our day with God through prayer is a journey of faith, trust, and surrender. It promises not just a good day, but a God-centered life, rich in peace, purpose, and joy. Let's commit to making prayer the first action of our day, inviting God's presence into every moment and allowing His will to shape our lives. Morning prayer reminds us that true peace is found in the presence of God. Let us, therefore, cherish these early moments with God, allowing His peace to fill us and flow through us. May it be a guiding light throughout our day, a reminder of God's constant presence and unwavering love. In doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also extend this peace to those around us, creating ripples of God's love in a world in desperate need of His peace. Embarking on each new day with morning prayer not only immerses us in peace, but also fortifies us with a strength that is not our own. This strength, bestowed upon us by the Almighty, is a testament to the power that lies in beginning our day rooted in divine communion. It is a strength that surpasses physical capabilities, nurturing our inner resilience and empowering us to face life's challenges with courage and determination. This divine strength is a promise from God to those who seek Him, as vividly captured in Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Morning prayer is our act of waiting on the Lord, of dedicating the first fruits of our day to Him. And in return, He renews our strength, equipping us to soar above the trials and tribulations of life. The strength we gain from starting our day in God's presence goes beyond mere endurance. It transforms our perspective on adversity. Challenges become opportunities to witness God's power at work in our lives. Trials become platforms for His grace to be displayed, and weaknesses become conduits for His strength to be perfected. This strength enables us to persevere with joy, knowing that our victory is secured in Christ. Furthermore, the strength derived from morning prayer infuses our faith with vitality. It anchors us in the truth of God's word and promises, fortifying our trust in Him. In moments of doubt or fear, the remembrance of our morning encounters with God serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us of His faithfulness and the unshakable foundation upon which our lives are built. Also, the strength we receive from morning prayer prepares us for spiritual warfare. Armed with the full armor of God, we can stand against the schemes of the enemy, secure in the knowledge that the battle belongs to the Lord. Our morning prayers act as a declaration of our dependence on God, activating His power and protection over our lives. In essence, the strength gained from our daily communion with God is multifaceted, touching every area of our lives. It is a strength that does not boast in its own might, but in the power of the One who promises to be our refuge and strength, and ever-present help in trouble. As we continue to prioritize morning prayer, let us do so with the expectation of being filled anew with God's indomitable strength, ready to face whatever the day may hold with confidence and grace. In the scriptures, we find compelling stories of individuals whose lives were profoundly shaped by their commitment to putting prayer first. These biblical characters offer us timeless examples of how starting the day with God can lead to divine guidance, protection, 
and empowerment in fulfilling God's purposes. Their stories encourage us to make prayer the first action of our day, trusting that like them, we will experience God's guidance, protection, and empowerment to fulfill our divine calling. As we follow in their footsteps, let us remember that our prayers, whether in times of joy, uncertainty, or distress, are always heard by a God who is intimately involved in the details of our lives. Let us first seek God in prayer, laying the foundation of our journey in His presence. This divine attentiveness assures us of His unwavering support and guidance. It beckons us to approach Him with confidence, knowing that each prayer plants the seeds for miracles yet unseen. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you in awe of your majesty and grace. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth, the King of kings and Lord of lords. Your power is infinite, your wisdom beyond understanding, and your love for us everlasting. You are worthy of all honor, all glory, and all praise. I thank you, Lord, for the gift of life and for your mercies that are new every morning. We are thankful for this new day, a fresh opportunity to experience your love, to walk in your ways, and to reflect your light to those around us. Thank you for your faithfulness and for your unfailing love that surrounds me and my loved ones. Lord, I am grateful for your daily provisions and blessings. In your presence, there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Merciful Father, I acknowledge my sins before you and ask for your forgiveness. I also choose to forgive those who have trespassed against me, releasing any bitterness or resentment, for you have called us to live in freedom and peace. Lord, I come to you seeking to start each day in your presence, to lay the foundation of my day upon your word and prayer. Help me to seek you first, trusting that all I need will be added unto me, as you have promised. I ask that you would guide my steps, direct my paths, and fill me with your wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke and bind every plan of the enemy to disrupt my peace, steal my joy, or derail my purpose. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of confusion, fear, worry, anxiety, and discouragement. Father, I ask for your protection over me and my loved ones. Shield us from the attacks of the enemy and surround us with your angels. I ask for your healing hand upon us, believing for restoration and strength in our bodies. Lord, bless us in our coming and going, and let your blessings and favor rest upon us as we walk through this day. Let us be vessels of your love and grace to others. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your Holy Spirit to fill us afresh, to empower us to live lives that glorify you. Guide us, Lord, in your wisdom. Protect us in your strength. Heal us in your mercy and bless us with your abundance. We claim victory over every challenge, declare healing over every illness, and give thanks for your provision and protection. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those who are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. I pray. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. Then, I encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory.
Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Imagine, if you will, a season as this, so filled with God's grace that every step forward is guided by His hand. Every challenge faced is an opportunity for growth, and every moment is steeped in the potential for miraculous change. As we greet each day of March, let us embrace it as a month rich with the potential for new beginnings and flourishing aspirations. It's a time to reflect on the profound spiritual journey ahead of us. This isn't just another month. It's a divine invitation to experience life-changing breakthroughs and blessings. Think of each day as a seed capable of sprouting into a testament of God's faithfulness. As the earth renews itself, so too can our spirits be rejuvenated, infused with fresh hope and new strength. This March, let's open our hearts to the possibilities of what faith, trust, and surrender to God's will can bring into our lives. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life this month, let us stand together in faith, believing that God will move mightily in our lives. Make listening to this prayer every day of this month a part of your daily routine as you build your faith while anticipating the blessings that God has in store for you. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. I and the gentle unfolding of the days of March. We are reminded of God's unwavering promise that He is continuously at work, ushering in new blessings into our lives that emerge as unexpectedly as the first blooms of spring. With the arrival of each morning, we are embraced by His unwavering mercies as fresh and invigorating as a new dawn. Isaiah 43 verse 19 reminds us, Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This verse affirms God's continuous work in our lives. Alongside this, we are also comforted by Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23, which assures us, saying, Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Let us hold these promises close to our hearts. Let them be the guiding light through each day of this month and beyond. My friends, as God unfolds a fresh chapter in your life this month, anticipate blessings beyond your imagination. Ephesians 3 verse 20 reminds us, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. As we stand on the threshold of this new chapter, uplifted by the promise of divine blessings, let us also turn our hearts toward the horizon of breakthroughs. Just as we are encouraged by Ephesians 3 verse 20 to anticipate blessings beyond our imagination, let this assurance propel us into a realm where barriers are broken and limits are surpassed. In this sacred space of expectation, let us hold fast to the belief that with God, Every moment is ripe with potential for transformation and victory. The concept of breakthrough is not just a fleeting wish, but a divine promise waiting to unfold in your life this month. Picture yourself standing before vast seas, with faith as your staff, ready to part the waters. The obstacle that once seemed insurmountable will become pathways to victory. Breakthroughs are born from moments of steadfast faith and unwavering trust in God's timing. Let this month be your moment of crossing over leaving behind the wilderness and stepping into the promised land of your destiny. Joshua 1 verse 9 encourages us, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The month of March calls for a declaration of freedom and deliverance from every form of bondage and evil that has tried to hold you captive. Deliverance is God's hand extended in the darkest nights, His power setting you free from chains unseen. Like dawn breaking upon the night, God's light is ready to shatter the shadows, offering a way out where there seems to be none. Stand firm in your faith, for deliverance is not just a possibility. It is your inheritance as a child of God.my friends. As the earth breaks open to reveal the first signs of spring, so too can healing break through the hard ground of hurt and illness. Healing flows from the very heart of God, 
a balm for every wound and a remedy for every pain. This March, let hope rise within you like the springtime sun, warming places that have been long cold and forgotten. God's desire is to see you whole, to mend what has been broken, and to restore what was lost. Embrace his healing touch, for it is as sure as the sunrise. Jeremiah 30 verse 17 tells us, For I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. As you navigate each day of this month, know that you are surrounded by God's safeguarding love and protection. Protection in this new month is as a fortress built around you, a shield that no enemy can breach. The same God who watches over the sparrow is attentive to your every step, guarding you from seen and unseen dangers. Walk confidently into each new day, for you are covered by the Almighty Shadow, a place where fear cannot reside. Psalm 91 colon 4 reassures us, He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. My friends, the month of March stands as a beacon of hope, a testament to the enduring love and power of God at work in our lives. It's a time to sow seeds of faith and to expect a harvest of miracles. As the natural world around us bursts into life, let us also look for the signs of spiritual renewal and growth. Each day is a canvas painted with opportunities for blessings, breakthroughs, deliverance, healing, and protection. Let this month of March be your turning point, a period of extraordinary transformation that sets the tone for the rest of your year. With God by your side, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Philippians 4 verse 13 declares, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This powerful assurance reminds us that with faith in Him, our possibilities are boundless. Remember, the same power that raised Christ from the dead is at work within you, ready to do immeasurably more than all you ask or imagine. March forward with courage, for you are destined for greatness, surrounded by God's blessings and favor. As we embrace the fullness of what March has to offer, let's do so with hearts open to the transformative power of God's love. Ready to receive the abundant life that He promises, let this month be a testament to His faithfulness. As we walk in the fullness of His blessings and breakthroughs, propelled by divine motivation towards the destiny He has ordained for us, not all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. And remember, you should also listen to this prayer each day of this month as you come in agreement and build your faith. It's a daily commitment to seeing God's hand move in every aspect of your life. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, the King of kings and Lord of lords, He who was and is and is to come, You are the Almighty and everlasting God, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I stand in awe of Your magnificent glory and power, acknowledging You as the Creator of all things and the Sustainer of life. Your greatness and majesty fill the heavens and the earth, and Your wisdom is unsearchable. You are worthy of all praise, and Your love endures forever. Lord, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and praise. Thank you for your unfailing love, your boundless mercy, and the countless blessings you have poured into my life. Lord, thank you for the precious gift of life and for guiding me safely thus far. Your faithfulness has been my shield. Thank you for the promise of new beginnings, for the hope that springs eternal with the dawn of each day. May my heart always be attuned to your grace and goodness as I navigate the days ahead. Merciful Father, I confess my sins before you, those known and those hidden in the shadows of my heart. I ask for your forgiveness, and with a heart made free by your grace, I also forgive those who have trespassed against me. Lord, help me to release any harbored bitterness and resentment so that I may fully embrace the freedom found in forgiveness. That I seek your guidance each day as I navigate the paths you have set before me and as I encounter the challenges of life. Enlighten my path with the light of your wisdom and lead me in decisions that align with your will. Grant me the discernment to recognize your voice amidst the noise of the world and the boldness to follow it without hesitation. In every situation, may your guiding hand be upon me, directing my journey towards paths of righteousness and peace. I, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that confusion and doubt will not derail my journey. Father, I stand firm in the belief that your wisdom will be my compass guiding every step I take towards the destiny that you have ordained for me. Lord, I seek your provision in every aspect of my life, trusting that you will supply all my needs according to your riches and glory. 
Grant me the wisdom to steward your blessings wisely and the faith to believe for abundance in areas of scarcity. In your grace, open the doors of opportunity and pour out your provisions so I may reflect your generosity in my life. I pray for healing, Lord, in every part of my being. Heal my body from illness, mend my heart from brokenness, and restore my spirit from weariness. I stand firm on your promises of healing and restoration, and with faith, I claim complete healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your divine healing power flow through every cell of my body, rejuvenating my mind, heart, and soul. As I receive your healing, let it be a testimony of your unfailing love and compassion, not just in my life, but also in the lives of my loved ones who are in need of your touch. I, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke and bind every form of bondage and declare deliverance over my life. I declare that every chain of addiction, fear, and any form of oppression is broken in the name of Jesus. I rejoice in the freedom that comes from your saving grace, knowing that whom the sun sets free is free indeed. May your hand guide me, bringing breakthroughs even in the barren areas of my life. Lord, I ask for your divine protection to be a shield around me and my loved ones. Guard us from the schemes of the enemy, from dangers seen and unseen. In the powerful name of Jesus, I rebuke every attack aimed to harm us, trusting that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Your faithfulness is our armor and protection, and under your wings we find refuge. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. Almighty God, you are the rock of our salvation. We come in agreement seeking your face, asking for your hand to move mightily in our lives. Bless us, Lord, with your holy presence, fill us with your spirit, and lead us into a deeper relationship with you. Together we claim victory over our challenges, we declare healing over our bodies and minds, and we celebrate the peace and joy found in your love. Merciful Father, we stand against the spirit of poverty and lack in our lives, and we welcome the spirit of prosperity and abundance. I, in the name of Jesus, we declare that we are blessed to be a blessing. And as vessels of your blessings, we become channels through which your abundance flows to enrich others. We pray for divine wisdom and discernment in every decision we face. Lead us by your spirit to walk in paths of righteousness. Shield us from deception and guide us into all truth. Grant us understanding and clarity to navigate life's challenges. Open our spiritual eyes to recognize the hidden traps and snares of the enemy and bestow upon us the wisdom to avoid them. Heavenly Father, we come before you seeking your divine protection over our relationships and interactions. Guard us from toxic relationships, manipulative individuals, and those who intend to cause harm. Surround us with the warmth of godly friendships, the wisdom of mentors, and the counsel of advisors who will uplift us on our faith journey. Bestow upon us the discernment to gracefully navigate the complexities of different personalities and relationships while we maintain a posture of love, grace, and forgiveness towards all. Almighty God, we call upon your strength and power to help us stand firm against the wiles of the enemy. In unity, we resist every temptation and commit to walking obediently according to your word. Protect us from the unseen battles of spiritual warfare. May your host of angels encamp around us, guarding our every step. We seek your divine protection over our words and actions, that we may be vessels of life, sources of encouragement and edification to those we encounter. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we are protected in our comings and goings. We declare that everything is working for us and not against us. We are grateful, Lord, for the assurance that your goodness and favor will be with us every step of the way. Let your peace that surpasses all understanding carry us through this month. We thank you for all that you have done and for all that you are about to do. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.